Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar where we'll be discussing the topic of effective file management. Now, I don't want you to switch off or fall asleep because the topic of file management or data management suggests that this session may be bland or boring, but I know for a lot of people, this stuff might not excite them. Data management just seems like one of those chores that needs done. But effective data management is so important. Even when it's done amazingly well, data management never gets the spotlight. When data management is done really well, it's ultimately just a process running in the background, holding your company together and taken for granted. But when it's done badly, it can be the source of much frustration and can result in costly errors, waste, or even damage your company's reputation. So I'm dedicated to making the most interesting and enlightening webinar on the subject matter for you today. And to make this an efficient use of your time, we've laid out a brief agenda. So stick with me for five to 10 minutes and we'll get into the demo portion of the session. But if you have any questions at any point during the webinar, just submit them through the chat facility within the webinar application. And this is your opportunity for attending a live webinar, take advantage of this facility and we'll respond to those at the Q&A section at the end. Effective file management, it's so important. Today's employees are looking for fast and easy ways to share information and complete their work. Shadow IT, if you don't know what shadow IT is, this represents the unknown applications, the facilities and devices that your enterprise workers may use to meet their daily um, data exchange needs. So, I mean, USB devices, mobile devices, email, and third-party online transfer services. So if you don't provide an effective platform to manage your enterprise files uh, within your organization, then you're at risk of employees connecting and sharing through unmanaged networks outside of your organization. And even if you have a system in place, you could still be at risk if it's too cumbersome to use. Because as I mentioned, employees look for the fastest and easiest way to collaborate. So they might be working with these tools in parallel to your chosen platform. Data management. As a topic, it's far more than just data creation and data storage, because the success of your organization, it will be defined by the way that your business data is transformed into usable knowledge to create value. So data and file management, therefore, is far more dynamic and transformational as you might think. But unfortunately, many companies are relying on their aging line of business systems and legacy infrastructure, which might be prohibiting their ability to move at the speed of the internet. So I wanna take this opportunity now to quickly highlight how effective file management can actually support and should support the following areas. So producing better quality products, that's what we all strive to do. But bringing a product to market, it's a complex endeavor. It involves vast expertise from different disciplines, from mechanical, electrical, software, and business management disciplines. Ultimately, it's a timely process. You're talking from design, engineering, toolmaking, all the way through to manufacture. And a common business approach when considering this lengthy process is to optimize the speed and optimize the throughput of this process, but ideally without impacting quality. But producing quality parts and producing quality product is not the responsibility of the QA and QC team because you cannot just bolt on quality at the end of the process. Quality needs to be woven and worked throughout. It's the result of an effectively managed process from beginning to end. Quality is the responsibility, therefore, of every stakeholder involved in that process. We believe that having the visibility and being able to govern the information and the data exchange that happens throughout that process is what ultimately gives you the control and the ability to ensure and repeat quality when you're producing your products. So simply stated, quality is not the absence of defect. We believe that quality is achieved through the alignment across your organization, across your project and team members in order to help meet and exceed customers' desired outcomes. It's really about just improving the quality and accuracy of your corporate communication. Managing your data effectively just helps to reduce human error. It helps to align the flow of information in and through your company. And at a minimum, it will help empower your employees to work together in a productive manner. 
But data management, as I mentioned, is more than just file storage. It's about visibility. It's about accessibility. So once your team can visualize that big picture, it drives people to come up with unique solutions to tough problems and ultimately exceed your customers' expectations. So to answer our first point, if you manage your design files and documentation, you can maximize productivity and improve product quality. And I'm not just talking about CAD and design files here, because this applies to the entire enterprise of all information and files, which leads me to my next point. Collaboration. It's more than just the one hour per week that your project te team meets and gets together. Collaboration is an ongoing line of communication. It's not just a single event. I know that the typical interaction most teams get might be during a structured reporting session, and this is not what we consider to be true collaboration. As I mentioned, it is an ongoing line of communication. At Actify, we believe that a neutral platform can help to support the needs and connect information from different disciplines to effectively communicate, share information, and securely collaborate. So it's a neutral platform, and that's important because regardless of what file type you're using or regardless of the line of business system that you might be using, we're able to support that and help the flow of information and collaboration of that data. Now, our solution collates enterprise data. It will digest the content and present it back to the user in a universal, understandable format that's user-friendly for any enterprise worker to use and adopt. And one of the biggest benefits is that you're able to effectively collaborate on project data with your team members, regardless of geographical location. So we're not talking about data silos that might be files in a line of business system that you can't access. The challenge also exists when you have more than one location, and large companies do. And sharing information between locations becomes a challenge, but not with Centro. With our tool, we're able to unite your information, not just databases and your different line of business systems, but also across different geographical locations. And our third point is effective file management should help manage versions. Now, data management, I've said it, is more than just file storage. It's about enhancing communication. It's about improving visibility of that information, but also it's about being able to share the file status and improve the productivity of your team. By sharing the up-to-date file version, you'll be preventing errors associated for you know, producing from out-of-date information. With Central, we can enable your teams to securely collaborate and eliminate the concern over version control and data loss. So we have a robust feature, it's called Check-in, Check-out. And with Central, you can also automatically manage the uprev and versioning of your files. And we're not talking about just CAD files. We know that um, such a feature is common to a PDM tool, but PDM is not an enterprise tool. It's typically just siloed and deployed within engineering. And as a result, engineering have robust tools to ensure that file versions and control is in place, but that does not reach to the rest of the enterprise. With Central, it is an enterprise application. Your enterprise, regardless of discipline, can manage and securely ensure the version of their files. It's not just CAD, it's all file types. So this is Actify Central as a as a toolbox of functionality, as a, a library of features, and the solution is very modular. So we're able to tailor and configure the product in order to meet your needs. Now, this is a very large subset of features, and we're not going to explore them all today. Uh, focus on the configuration and features that are going to support this webinar topic of effective file management. Um, but we will be doing webinars in the future and exploring this product in more depth. And what we're sharing today is just the tip of the iceberg. It's to give you a flavor of what Central is and what Central can do. So hopefully from this webinar, you're going to feel encouraged to at least reach out to us, whether it's at the end of this call or by filling out a form on our website so that uh, you might be intrigued to learn more about what our solution can do for you. So at this stage, I'm going to hand over to Mark um, and Mark's going to share the, the central demonstration for this webinar. Thank you, Scott. Good afternoon, everyone. So to start off, we 
uh, we are on Centro's catalog part view screen for this component. So using the Centro pipeline manager, I was able to create this project and populate it based on the CAD files uh, from a folder, which is then which it then used to derive the catalog part names based on the name of the CAD files. So with the appropriate project access rights based on the roles based on roles or users, this is how teams can collaborate across the enterprise with the visibility and accessibility for the catalog parts and their associated files with the means to view the models in Spinfire to modify or upload new files wherever that is uh, that is to specific catalog parts or for the project um, in a in a very secure manner. So within the, the pack part view we have this tab to see the activity of when the files were uploaded and by who. Uh, so whether it was by uh, an individual user or by the original pipeline which picked up the native CAD files and converted it to all those files that you saw there in the resources under pipeline files category. And we also has, have the other pipelines such as the system pipeline which coming back to the resources and then going to the native CAD file we can then click generate and generate a new version of any of these files. So typically, of course, this is very good if you need to convert a file on the fly. And in in and in, uh, in, in in this scenario, um, and sorry, and typically, um, most users will not have access to the pipeline manager itself for for either for security or various other uh, reasons, such as just to protect the files, uh, to protect the projects. So this is what an end user would typically need to do is to come into here and generate the new file, whether it's the act through D, which by the way, you can have different importer options uh, saved such so that you can, uh, for, so for example, if there's certain um, PMI or other information is, is not uh, displaying in the file, it may be that you may need to, to adjust the importer options in Centro um, to uh, to ha to include wireframe mode, or for example, or maybe when the pipeline was originally conceived, it did not convert to all the CAD formats that you you needed to have available to share with a supplier, for example. So you can come into the generate and generate the any of the missing or new or new revisions of that that uh, the original native CAD file. So as you heard Scott mentioned, uh, Centro is uh, being a modular product. The Centro control module allows the user to download and check the file back in after they made changes. Now, if I click my version history, you can see here that um, that the that there has been five stages of or five versions of the Act 3D file now that have gone back into Centro. So let's to so let's download uh Spinfire let's download the Act 3D. Let's check that file out. Let's open that in Spinfire. And it's just as a quick example, I'm just going to do a, a rotation in this instance, and I'm going to save this file uh, on my desktop. Okay, and now that that file, I've made my revision to the at 3D file, I can now come back to my Centro browser, and I can check that file back in. And while the file is checked out, it has this pa green padlock icon, as you can see. So any, anyone else in the team that wants to work on this file, They'll notice that it's locked, and um, and that means they can't check it out to work on it. I mean, of course, they can download to look at the file in the meantime, but they are anticipating you to be actually working on a revision right now. So at this point, I've done my revision, so I'm now going to check in the file, and I'm going to browse to the file that's on my desktop. And of course, this is a new version of the file, so I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to tag it as stage six. 
Uh, stage six completed, and I'll leave my initials there. And I've now checked that file back in as a resource, and we see here checking completed. If I now go to version history, I can now see that that new revision is there. If I click into it, I can actually go back to the previous uh, revisions of the Act 3D and see the different comments and tags. And uh, and for any of these revisions, I can then I can download a copy of that revision. I can go right back to the beginning, download it, make the changes, and check that file back in. And this is applicable to all all the CAD or non CAD files in Centro. And of course, when those user comments, uh, those user comments, sorry, can be made compulsory for as part of this procedure, so that it's it's clear to clear to everyone in the, your team exactly what changes have been done. Um, whether this is like tracking from an engineering point of view or from a management management perspective, what state the project or the files are in at that point. So all this data from from all these uh. So all the data data from various departments using pipelines can be uploaded, can upload the data against specific catalog um, IDs, whether they are CAD or non-CAD files. Um, and the pipeline, and when you devise a pipeline, you can choose the initial tags for those new files, if they are new files, or, um, or even assign them to a specific category when they're coming into Sentry. So maybe a good example would be the one here, uh, these ones that came from the, the original pipeline. I called it the pipeline files. So I know these are the ones that have come from the pipeline itself. So moving on, we're going. Let's let's move over to Spinfire Web. We're viewing uh, a Spinfire Web version of the original native CAD file within my browser. Uh, I did not need to install any software as the end user of Centro. This is a zero download viewer. The browser supported R Edge, Firefox, and Chrome. Um, as you can see, I can do uh, rotation, pan, uh, zoom. I can, of course, do a uh, section cut and rotate. I can do additional section cuts and rotate. And if we untick that, we turn off the section cut. And if I come here, I can do the explode view. And of course, we have um, some high level um, measurement options here to use. You can see the assembly tree like you saw on the part view page. Any native CAD, uh, CAD views that were saved in the original file, those can be used here as well. So that's in, that's in particular is very useful when you have PMI information and you've got the, the, those PMI uh, saved into those user views in the native CAD file. We can view those in Spinfile Web. So at this point, I'm happy with what I'm seeing on the screen. So I'm going to, to decide to take a snapshot. And I'm happy with the result. I can then download a PNG image. Perhaps it's for some form of documentation or an email. But in this case, I want to add it to the catalog clock as a thumbnail image. And I'm so happy with this image, I, I am going to set it as the thumbnail image for the part view uh, page. So I've added that. I go back to the combustion unit, and you'll now see that it, the, I, the image has now changed. If we go across to the image tab, if I decide suddenly I, I'm not actually happy with that thumbnail image, I can go to any of these other screenshots I've made or the original that was made by the pipeline manager itself. So let's now go across to the pipeline manager. If you do not build your pipelines um, using the Quick Publisher Creator, you can, of course, use the uh, Create a Pipeline from Scratch. So let's call this one Test 2. So at this point, I need to determine how often I want the pipeline to be um, checking for new files. So if I want that to be instantaneous, I'm uh this would be most applicable uh for non cad files so if i was i can have a cad um sorry i can have a pipeline um to process these non cad files 
and direct them to a, a specific catalog ID in Centro. So that would be that would be the recommended course of action uh, for triggers. That is, but for most cases, we would recommend a polling directory, so as to not overwhelm your any of your servers with processing too many um, CAD files from multiple pipelines all at once. So it's nice to spread out the the times that the pipelines will be uh, processing files. Of course, you can say. I want to process uh, specific or all CAD files found in that folder. That could include any hidden files hidden from a Windows perspective. You can we can still pick up those and process them. Or if there's any subfolders in that in the folder being watched, we can pick up those files as well. Or if we want Centro to process files that may already exist in Centro or not. So typically this would be already ticked on. And then, of course, how often you want the polling to be rolling, uh, running. So that could be minutes, hours, days, and or weeks. And then if we've got the scheduled trigger. So this will run at a very specific time of day on a specific date. And then from that point on, it will run at these intervals, much like, basically like the polling directory. Um, and such a pipeline can be done once. It could be a one-off pipeline. Perhaps your users will, from that point on, decide to work uh, purely through uh, the check-in and check-out of Centro Control module for those Office documents, for example. And I believe that's everything we, uh, we wanted to highlight for today. So thank you, everyone, for watching. And I'll now be passing you back to Scott. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Um, at this point in time, we'd encourage everyone to point their questions into the chat facility. It's a good opportunity to take advantage of um, our technical resource and ask the questions. It's the benefit of being on a live webinar. Um, I'm also aware of time. So if we get any questions that come through at the end, we will follow up via email or phone call. Um, also, if you're inspired to um, reach out to your account managers after this phone call or fill out a form on the website, we'd be happy to share more information with you. So what Mark shared was central solution, a very high level, and there was a lot to take in there. So I'm just gonna summarize what you saw. Pipeline Manager, it helps you pool information from your line of business systems or from your folder directories that you have inside your company. Once that information is inside Centro, that's where the magic happens. So our differentiated offering is that our technology is built upon a graph database. Simply put, we can associate a resource with a part. So we can understand that this Excel spreadsheet of test specifications and information is relevant to this CAD part. And that's our differentiated offering versus, say, a folder or versus a online storage facility. It's because those facilities are just large buckets. You can put files and information in there, but Central gives you that intelligent, intelligent context and association between files and parts. Some of the features that Mark shared was Spinfire Web. That's our web-based 2D, 3D CAD viewer. The benefit of being working and operating on a browser is that through a range of hardware devices, so your laptop, your tablet, or your mobile, you're able to access data on the move from your office at home, and that gives you freedom on flexibility to complete your work. Um, file. What we mean by managed files is any file type. We have the capabilities of supporting um, up revs. We have the, the capability of receiving any file type. But if it's CAD and if it's Excel spreadsheets, then we can do significantly more with those file formats with our solution. Um, file versioning, it's not just a number uptick. It's also about being able to access the previous iterations and version of a file. Um, so that you don't lose information. You're able to revert to a previous version and access that data so it's not lost. Um, collaboration is important. It's about improving communication. And we find that sharing information and visibility to information is one part. 
Check and check out is a robust feature to ensure that your file is not overwritten and information isn't lost when project teams collaborate. The power of our tool is that we provide check and check out functionality over every file type. So it's no longer a secure collaboration feature that is siloed and restricted to the engineering team, such as a PDM tool. This is a neutral enterprise platform and allows you to securely collaborate regardless of file type. Automation. The pipelines is a fantastic example of automation. Once you set up that flow of file input and transfer over to Centro, it's done. It will be running in the background forevermore till it's switched off. And what's the benefit of that? If you forget to share an update of a file today through manual means, whether it's forwarding an email or um, sharing a file at a meeting in an updated version, um, that is no longer an issue because it's happening automatically with the pipeline. That's the automation. It ensures that the flow of updates of files are consistently synchronized to that central common repository for the rest of the enterprise to work from. So it reduces error. Um, activity tracker is like an audit. So that just means that project managers don't need to wait until the end of the week to get an update and sync with the rest of the team. They're able to see progress in real time. They're able to view the contributions from different team members uh, as a fantastic auditing tool, but it's also very simple to use. Security, market alluded to by user, by per permission by role, permission by project, that just ensures that the right person has access to the right information. Security is a massively important component to any data management tool and we support security features. And check and check out is also just another example of how you have secure collaboration and you aren't losing data. Um, data accessibility, I, I alluded to with accessing it through your mobile, your tablet, um, because it's based on a browser. And you can do CAD conversions on the fly. That's important if engineering are working in their preferred format, whether that's a CATIA or NX application, and they store files and it's imported into Centro. And let's say a testing department needs a different format for their their testing machine, then they're able to do that on the fly, convert to a different CAD format for their purposes. So that's just a recap of what Mark had shared. But again, guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Centro can do. And there is a whole host of other features that we'll be sharing on future webinars. The next webinar will be a Spinfire focus. It's on the 27th of September. And in fact, we're going to be comparing our desktop Spinfire Ultimate capabilities and also comparing that to our Spinfire web um, browser-based CAD viewing tool. So I think that'll be interesting for everyone in today's call. Uh, and so I'd encourage you to register for that event. Lastly, I just want to thank everyone for attending today. And um, we're always looking to hear from you that you'd like to hear for future webinars. If you have feedback, you'd like to know more information and don't want to reach out to a sales guy, you can message marketingactify.com and we'll also be happy to help you. Thanks for taking the time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.